Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to be giving you a bunch of unity wedding ceremony ideas. This is a part of a wedding that I just think is really cute and you can be super creative with it so you don't have to do the typical like candle lighting uni unity ceremony, although that is really cute. You can do that if you want or you can change it a little bit with like scented candles or colorful candles or like the typical sand ceremony. Again, that's really cool. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But today I'm going to give you all kinds of other unity ceremony ideas, one involving books which is pretty cool so hopefully one of these unity ceremony wedding ideas will help you out and you'll like it and you'll think it's cute and you can run with it and also don't be afraid to personalize these ideas they can be changed as much as you need to do to suit your personality to suit your wedding for a small wedding big wedding and everything in between also if you guys have any ideas for other unity wedding ceremonies please let us know in the comments down below this is definitely not an exhaustive list I know there are so many cool ideas out there so if you've heard of it any or seen any on Pinterest or witnessed any at weddings that you've been to, please tell us about them down below. All right, so the first unity ceremony I wanna talk about is a beer or wine blending ceremony. Basically, you each have a glass of wine or a mug of beer, probably your favorite wine or your fi favorite beer, and then you put those together into one mug or one glass, and then you both drink out of that one glass or mug. And the cool thing about this is you can keep that unity mug or glass that you are both drinking out of forever. And I would suggest if you're gonna do this, use some kind of unbreakable material, like maybe one of those copper mugs that Moscow mules come in, something like that, just so you won't be devastated later if someone happens to drop the mug or it, get, it gets broken or something like that. Next up is a hand fasting ceremony. This is a type of ceremony that my partner and I are planning on doing. It's a Celtic tradition. And if you've seen Outlander or Braveheart or or a lot of movies like this, you will have seen some version of this. And basically it's when the couple's hands are joined together with a cord or with a ribbon and some pretty words are spoken. And then that cord is tied into a knot and you keep that knot forever. It's actually where the term to tie the knot comes from. The cool thing about this kind of ceremony is it can be super personalized. You can make the colors of the cord, colors that are significant to you and your partner or colors that are significant to each of your families, which symbolizes the two families coming together. You can also involve more members of your family, like beyond the readers and the wedding party, you can also have people who present the cords for the hand fasting ceremony. Like I would ask my mom to present the cord from my family and maybe my partner Phil would ask his mom to present the cord from his family and then um, those cords would both be used to tie our hands and then tie it into a knot and then that knot is saved. You can keep it in your house as a decoration for the rest of your lives. Number three is a rose ceremony and I'm not talking about the bachelor kind of rose ceremony, but instead a rose ceremony that lets your crowd be involved in the wedding ceremony as well. So basically everybody has a single rose. If you want, you can color code them with like your color for your family and another color for your partner's family and friends. And everybody has a single rose. And at some point during the ceremony, you and your partner exchange exchange the first single roses. And this kind of serves as your first gift to each other. After that, all the rest of the crowd kind of like stands up, comes up to the altar in a line and places their rose in a pile on your wedding altar, or they can stick them directly into a vase. I've also seen this at smaller ceremonies where everybody will just hand the roses directly to the couple. So so the couple has like a big bunch of flowers between them. Next up is a wine bottle time capsule or just a time capsule, but a wine bottle time capsule specifically is when each of you writes a love letter to each other. The officiant asks both of you to put your love letters into some kind of cute box, some kind of decorative box, along with your favorite bottle of wine or liquor, whatever it may be. And then you decide, your officiant says to the crowd like, okay, this, is, this box is to be sealed for the next five years, 10 years, 20 years. And I want you to open this up on your 20th anniversary, read the letters that you wrote to each other and drink this bottle of wine together. A friend of mine did this at her wedding ceremony and the, the officiant actually told them to open up the box if they're ever having marital problems. So you can do this any way you want. Next up on my list is to do a tree planting together or some kind of like potted plant. If you live in an apartment like me, you might wanna do a potted plant versus a tree. And this is pretty cool because you have like a living thing that represents your marriage. Although living things sometimes die so don't be too sad if your tree doesn't doesn't live it doesn't mean anything about your marriage necessarily and tip if you're going to be doing a tree planting ceremony make sure you get the bulk of the work like the digging and all that done the day before the wedding so you're not like digging a hole in your pretty clothes 
during the wedding ceremony. Next on my list is to do some kind of quilt and obviously you can't like actually sew a unity quilt during your wedding ceremony. So the way this works is you would ask all of your guests in advance or a select few guests in advance to bring in some kind of fabric that is meaningful to them. And this can be like a piece of your baby clothes. Your mom might want to bring something like that or a piece of fabric that they wore when they were with you or just a piece of fabric. It doesn't really matter. A piece of fabric that they think is pretty. And so everybody at some point during the ceremony would bring up their little scrap of fabric and put it maybe like maybe put it in a decorative box something like that that would be sealed up and then you would plan on then making a quilt out of all of those pieces of fabric either sending it off to somebody to do it professionally or maybe you have somebody in your family who's just talented with this stuff and can do it for you really quickly I want to mention a unity candle ceremony because it's even though it has been done many times before it is really great and that's basically where each of you has a candle and you light one single candle in the the middle so feel free to do this kind of classic unity ceremony if that fits your personality same with a colorful water ceremony my friend did this at her wedding and I thought it was really cool it was kind of like a, an interesting science experiment where she had I think like a pink colored water it was just water with food coloring in it and he had maybe a blue colored water and they poured them together into a vase and it made purple and it was just really cool and swirly and beautiful so you don't have to do anything complicated you can do something really simple and it'll have the same effect and also be really pretty and, and optically aesthetically pleasing for your crowd and while we're at it I'll just go ahead and mention a sand ceremony as well which is the same thing you take two different colored sands and you blend them into a vase and that makes some kind of pretty design. If you want to take a sand ceremony to the next level, you can take that sand that you blended and you can send it off to, there's a few different companies that do this. They'll blow, um, like do glass blowing of the sand, the colorful sand into some kind of cool art piece that you can put in your house. Another idea I love is to take soil from both of your hometowns and blend them together during the ceremony. And then you have this cute little jar of the, the sand or uh, the dirt, the soil from where both of you are from. From. You could take that to the next level and put it into some kind of pot and then grow something out of that soil Depending on how good the soil is where both of you are from a wishing stone ceremony is really cool This is another one like the rose ceremony that involves your crowd a little bit where upon Entering your ceremony or maybe at their seats. There's a whole bunch of little flat stones Those are probably the best ones to use and um, Like silver or gold sharpies or silver or gold paint markers and at some point during the ceremony the officiant asks everybody to write a a little wish for you on the stones or it can just be one word if the stones aren't very big and then you collect all of those stones into some kind of cute little jar and it becomes something that you use something that you put on display in your house An hourglass unity ceremony is really cool, especially if you're doing something like a Harry Potter themed wedding. Essentially, you buy an hourglass. You can find these on Etsy, like pretty hourglasses that you would like to display. And you can put two different kinds of sand in them. Ideally, like two different kinds of sands that look good together. And then at some point, you just kind of blend the sand during the ceremony and then you keep that hourglass at home as a decoration. Another idea is to do a display box full of memories. So you and your partner would write down a whole bunch of memories of you guys together, preferably enough to last a lifetime because then what you would do is fold up those little pieces of paper, maybe put them into cute little envelopes, buy a pretty display box and at some point during the ceremony you take all of those memories, place them into the display box and then that box serves as kind of a like every year after that on your anniversary you pull out one memory and you read it together it's something cute for your crowd to watch and then it's also something cute for you guys to do on your anniversary for the rest of your lives next up is perhaps a nerdy idea but I really love it and this is a book binding so each of you chooses your favorite book or a book that's really meaningful to you and you read a passage from each of those books and then your officiant says some words and you guys bind your two books together with ribbon or something like that and if you want to take it to the next level you can actually later on have it professionally have the two books professionally bound together like have the covers removed and have them bound but that's totally up to you all right guys those are all the ideas I have what other unity wedding ceremony ideas are there out there please let us know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time